Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel as we start a new road to the show today, our shortstop, Alex Parker here, a fielding shortstop. I already did all this stuff so y'all don't have to watch it. We'll activate that, head back, and activate our saved rosters with our four other road to the show characters loaded into it and ready to perform. We're back at it with another season of the Road to the Show podcast. I'm your host, Ben Gelman. Today, we're focusing on the Major League Baseball amateur draft, specifically on one of my diamonds in the rough. This is a player, not a household name yet. There's a long way to go. Maybe not at the top of the draft class, but I, I think there's a real future at the Major League level for this player. I have Hall of Fame outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. with me today. Ken, what advice would you give this player who might not be considered a sure thing to make it? What would you tell them as they begin their professional journey? Yeah, I mean, you have an opportunity. Anytime you have an opportunity to to impress somebody, uh, uh, to go out there and, and do something, then you can do it. And, and they don't care, you know, who you are, what round, what this, what that. They just want you to go out there and play. And if you can perform day in and day out, you will be in the big leagues. Thank you, King Griffey Jr. We go through a similar thing underway, that we did in the shares his you know, previous MLB coach. games where we have we get to pick if we want to play for a specific team or if we want to get drafted to a random team. And of course we're gonna get drafted to a random team here. No favorites, nope. Um all right, cool. So we will be expecting this call right now. Alex Parker is a fielding shortstop. We'll talk a little more about that later, but um Let's see where he's the best fit. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my source, to my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's tough enough mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues has now become a reality with that one phone call. Here we go. The Angels. Okay. That's a new one. Let's do this thing. That's a new one. Let's go. I'm excited. What? Are oh. you kidding me? This is who we are drafting? You must be crazy. He is a career minor leaguer. He's not a major league player. We wasted a draft pick, a high one at that. Here, this is why we don't win. This is a terrible, terrible pick. Oh, my goodness gracious. Come on, fellas. Do your work. Do some research. Awful, awful selection. I hate this pick. Okay, so Chris Russo does not like us. Awesome, though. Hey, the Angels, I will take that. Let's talk a little bit about um, Alex Parker here. What do we have here? We have some equipment, maybe? Oh, some batting gloves. Perfect. We'll equip that. Ritual item, a compression sleeve, even. I do need to switch up our gear a little bit. But cool, we do have some items. And uh, this is our speedy sl slickster. Uh, fielding and speed is kind of his thing. Pretty low contact. Um, but as for its equipment, I guess. And it'd be sleeves and tape. And it'd be on our right hand. Perfect. Yeah, that's how I want it. Cool. We're on the trash pandas. That's awesome. All right, so let's go and get in, into some gameplay. No evaluation, no anything. Let's just go ahead and start us off here. We're talking about one of my favorite picks in this year's MLB Amateur Draft, and I'm joined by mental performance coach Kellen Lee. Kellen, what have you heard about this particular prospect? You know, I, when you sent over the list of, of people we're going to talk about, I had to do some extra research on this one. This is a guy that I you know, flew under the radar and I really wasn't as familiar with. Uh, but after doing a little bit more research, uh, talked to some coaches, talked to the people that know him personally, it sounds like he's got some really strong intangibles. Sounds like he was a great teammate as an amateur player. And I would imagine that the organization perhaps did their homework a little bit and found out a little bit about him uh, that other teams didn't, because it sounds like he brings a lot to the table on the, on the mental side of the game. 
And as Yogi Berra famously said, baseball is 90% mental, the other half is physical. Now, math on that aside, Kellen, how much has baseball emphasized mental toughness, mental development in recent years? Yeah, there's been a huge shift in a lot of the organizations and players are turning to the mental side of the game to be just a regular part of player development, all the way from the minor leagues, all the way up to the major leagues. Uh, some of those mental performance skills include building confidence, establishing routines, uh, setting really effective goals, maintaining motivation, visualization, the sky's the limit. But really what we know is that a really solid mental game allows these players to tap into their physical game more consistently. Well, okay, we are hitting ninth in the lineup for the Trash Pandas as we play in our first game. Of course, we'll look into the roster and stuff later, but uh, I wanted to hop into gameplay in this first one real quick. So let's do this thing. Um, we've got a lot of growing to do, and I made my player in this way to where the growth that Hello, needs to happen is welcome. more Opening so on the hitting side. The so our it's fielding is already City pretty good, you know, 63 or so, um, whereas the hitting is really bad. We're going to be hitting with directional, Gentlemen. not because I don't hit with zone. I hit with zone for a Diamond Dynasty, um, but for directional, we just get a more realistic sense of the game. Just about set to go. We're going to see struggles more with directional and uh, stuff like that. So here comes Alex Parker up to the plate. And we'll take the first pitch of a professional career. All right, let's do this. No Matt Vescursion this year. It's different, but we embrace those types of changes. And, of course, we get our real-time gains. We know how that works. Next we did go. Oh no, he called it in. 44 contact versus left and 44 power. So nothing great, and we're on Hall of Fame. Not legend, not all-star Hall of Fame. A decent difficulty, good timing on that swing. Just missed it. And we go for it. Ah. So first at bat is a strikeout. We're going to be moving through this about 30 minute episodes each time if you're new to the seer, new to the channel. Holy smoke, that one foul. Got to get our timing down. If you're new to the channel, um, it's not really that confusing. We do really long road to the shows with different positions, and this is our actually our first infield other than catcher. And a pitch. I want to play shortstop. Down 0-2 already. And we we are one of the few channels that really pushes these things. And here it comes. Multiple and years and a second strikeout for Parker. Just overmatched on that fastball line. And, and we are going to get some fielding opportunities, making sure our RTTS um, options are here. Player lock fielding, yeah, some. And, yeah, these are good. All base running opportunities, and that's it. A 5'11 shortstop, really good in the field, not the best at the plate. That's just how he is. Oh, no, and we make an error the first play because I didn't realize I had the throwing meter on. <laughs> I say he's good in the field, and I immediately make an error. Also, I'd like to change... Um, my fielding, uh, my fielding, field there. There you go. All right, and now we can make these plays. So let's make the play here. And that's flown out to us. So we'll make the play. Not a great start. This is a rough first game. So digging in, number twenty-three. We need to start making plays quick. Out to short, Parker collects We'll play it on the ground, fire on the first, and we'll get him out here. Okay, so back up at the plate. Still a lefty on the mound, which is tough. Chance to drive one in. We've struck out twice. That's up there. 
that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. You know what? Just thinking about it, I think right now for fielding, I just don't want my throw meter on. I think, I don't know. Not until I get used to it for Diamond Dynasty. Good slider. We were out in front expecting fastball. Change up misses. Struggle a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts. Just gotta be smart. By doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count. And yeah, that's upstairs. Three one. Misses. Now three and one. To Parker. Ultimately, you want to green light here with runners on the corners. On the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swing and a miss. Really good change up. Would have been a strike two anyway, but with a runner on first. We swung through it. Three two. Some say, hey, get the ground ball, double play. With two strikes, some people say get the strike. And we actually rope that one pitch, pretty deep left. It'll be caught, but we do get a sack fly, and the run comes in to score. And it's 2-2. Two to two. Alex Parker does his job. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. Well done. Set for the last half of the seventh. And here is... As we work out some kinks, nothing really matters much down here in double A. But we'll make this play, hopefully. And no, a second error. Wow, what? Just, oh, buttons. <laughs> wow, just really bad. Start in the field. We'll get it in the next one. Parker flings it to first, and it's in the dirt, but... Tough day for Alex Parker in his first MLB game, and he might be the last out of the game as well. Takes fastball inside. Wow, what a tough start in the field. Two airs. And a really good fastball in on the inner part of the plate. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Comes up empty. Change up. We were on it, but Alex couldn't make contact. Two strikes here, gotta protect. But that one's inside. Two, two, two down. Rocket City in trouble here. And he went. Three strikeouts in his professional debut. Tough day for Alex Parker. Things will only get better, of course. Oof, that was rough. So moving on to game two. Obviously, things will improve <laughs> past that. We'll do better in future appearances. It's just going to be a long road. Fastball, but it's really change -up. Played on the Keep run by Parker and fires it on the first, makes the play, one down. Comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive. Parker hitting in the six hole. Sure Has an RBI in the season, 0 for 3, Alex with Parker three strikeouts. Had an RBI yesterday. Gets one to play against a righty this game. time, which is easier. Definitely is. Hey, here we go, big guy. Come on. Deal one. Was early on the changeup and takes the low fastball. So we're equal at 1 1. Birmingham leads 1 0 here in the second. That one Parker got a good That's piece of it. It's deep. It's actually gone. Alex Parker in his first double A hit. And it's a home run. One he'll certainly remember. Deep out That's to right. First double A home run. And trust me, getting that first long ball out of the way at any level. And Rocket City nice takes the lead. And not just for him, but for the organization as well. They're hoping he ends up being a major. Oh, a huge relief off come. Parker's chest and mine. <laughs> as and we get hold of one and drive it out to right for our first professional home run. Popped up, uh, Parker, Parker to the ball quickly, and, puts and the is there. So, one down. one down here in the second. 
Welcome back. Now, Alex. Three Parker. strikeouts and a two run shot for Parker. The pitch. The lead off the fourth here. And he's on that one, but he grounds it to second. And an easy play here. Vinny Brady is our pitcher here. And that one will get through. I can't believe they took out the thing that lets you see. Bases empty one An overhead with L2. Alex Parker. One out here in the sixth. And we get a piece of this one, but Cespedes runs it down. So we're one for three. We'll get a hit again. With a good situation. Got to get a run in here. Pretty bad curveball. Tie game here. We have the only two RBIs. R1 might be it. So 2-0, if he wants to load him, go ahead. We haven't even gotten a base running opportunity. Oh, and we popped it up. Get out of play. It's not going to. And a really failed at that. Back here at the ball we do mark. score now one. The DH. Colson Montgomery. Aaron Hernandez is our pitcher. To the left That's side. a slow roller with some speed Parker. running. Save. He's there. Really Tough play. In the so up next, now a couple on. So -so. Out to short. Get to the bag. And we couldn't get him at first, so we had to go to third. We don't get him. And it's all tied, and we have the at-bat to get him home. I only swing with X most of the time. If we really need a homer, I'll swing with square, or if I really need to touch the ball circle, but usually X. That's hit. As hard as I could. Perfect, perfect. Right at a guy. It's just how it goes sometimes. We do lead 4-3. On the ground. Played by Parker to his left. Fires and got him by a step. Need that arm strength up if we're going to play shortstop well. And the Trash Pandas of Rocket City get their first win of the year. Parker goes deep for the first time in his career with his first hit. One for five, though. Two RBIs was a big part of the win today. And we'll continue to play. Why not? Like I said, we play up to around 30 minutes on each episode, and then we just move on to the next one. For the beginning of the year, I mean, these are going to be daily. If, if another day, another Alex Parker. That's just how it's going to go. Jared Kelly is the pitcher. And we put a jolt into that one, but it's called out and left. 0 for 1. Kyle Tyler on the mound has already given up 2. Why to kick the pitch? Out to short. Ground ball, Parker, Parker fields, fires, and one, out the bottom of the second. one down here. So digging in, one Alex for nine Parker. start to the year for Alex Parker. Need to be patient. Why be patient when you can ground it, ground out? Oh man, tough start. So now it's the four hole hitter, number 11. Hitting a whopping average of 100, but starting to get the fielding better. Looking good out there. Alright, we're going to take first pitch unless it's just there. It was just not there, and I still swung. 97 from Jared Kelly. The runner at first with two gone.
All right, we take that one. Three pitch guy, fastball changeup slurve. We don't go for it. One misses, and it's two and one. Two one. Waiting for our pitch. That's ball three, but we went for it. That's a pretty firm fastball right there. Two two memories of getting from Kelly creeping into my mind right now. Righty to the plate. Ground ball. That's on the ground, and it is through. We'll stick here. At first, and hey, we've got another hit on the year. It's a good piece of hitting. It's a good pitch to hit. Roped past the second baseman. The next to hit. Now back. Kelly checks over to first. I ain't stealing yet. This isn't the time to Corners steal with the runner on third. The pitch. And it's off. Ball two. Jared Kelly coming with the 2 2 here. Now, don't get me wrong. Parker can run. Yeah, the right hander deals. It's kind of what he does. Here's a high chopper. And he foul ball. It up in foul territory. Here's a 2 2. The pitch. And it is popped up. Will be playable. It will be. What a play by Montgomery over there. Jose Rodriguez will hit next. So Kenny Rosenberg is on the mound for us. Out to short. Ground ball played on a backhand. Fires a little bit in the dirt, but an easy pick. Back to the top of the lineup. Parker showing off some gloves this game. Now at the plate. Might be turning two here. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. That's actually up the middle. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. So two So a couple two on. Away. Stepping in. We're back 11. in the field. Come in a little bit. We don't have the arm to beat him there, so give up some range. On the ground, right side. Two Parker and he got him at second. All right, we got to hit the ball. So two down now, and here is or one Alex for three. Parker, Kenley Moore in on the mound game. for Birmingham. Yeah, Roped foul. Is fouled off. Give me meatballs. Why not swing? Left-hand hitter waits. Ah, it's roped. Hey, a two for four day and base for Parker. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on, and we've got two, two on, two down. First and second, two down. Now the third baseman, Jose Rojas. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. And that's that's going to be down. He's going to try. He's easily out. What a gun from the right fielder. And Birmingham takes the win. But, hey, Alex Parker makes pretty good developments here with two singles on the day we'll take that every day we'll get into a little bit more action here improving your reaction time in the field can take you from defensive liability to game changer 2008 gold glove award winner carlos pena joins me carlos what are some ways to improve your reaction time in the field and up your defensive game you know there's a big misconception here people talk about Hey, uh, fielding is all about having great hands, but it starts at your feet. It's footwork. So how do you improve uh, that footwork? That first step is you always have to be in motion. So get going towards the pitch, towards the plate, uh, expecting a play. You're going to be quicker. You're going to have a quick first step, but you always have to be in motion. Okay, so actually, I a think... A hitting coach oh. touches base with a new arrival to the team. Oh, the batting cage. This is where we just get our upgrades in. Of course, everybody knows how that works. Um, but yeah, let's look at our roster here in L.A. 
there's obvious star power. Uh, the pitching with Shohei and now Syndergaard is still really weak, but better. Shohei is still not even that great of a pitcher. Uh, Lorenzen, you know, Patrick Sandoval, Canning. Not the best trio down at the bottom. Potential-wise, it's not really there. We've got Reed Detmers um, and Sam Bachman. So, a couple guys who have potential to be better. Pen-wise, ooh, it's not good. Loop is the only decent one, along with Rysel Iglesias. Set catcher, we've got Max Stassi. I do like Stassi as a fielder, uh, not as a hitter, really. Jared Walsh, Georgia boy. Um, this, well, he... He went to UGA, I think. Um, <laughs> this dude rakes off righties. Lefties is a different story, but righties, he absolutely rakes. Excited to play with him. David Fletcher will be our cohort up the middle, I think. Um, we also have Adrian Plas Placencia, um, who is 18 and a B potential. Anthony Rendon is the third baseman, along with Jack Mayfield. Rendon, you know, he's a little washed, but... He's getting better, you know. Tyler Wade right now is up the middle. There's shortstop, um, Kyron Paris, Jeremiah Jackson, guys who could come up. But we all know in a series like this, it's going to end up being Alex Parker, who ends up being the shortstop for the Angels, unless they trade us for some reason. Justin Upton still playing, apparently, at the age of 34. We'll play left. Out in center, it's some dude named Mike Trout. <laughs> Obviously, Trout is the best player in the league and on our team. Um, and I'm so excited to play with Mike Trout, honestly. That top of the order will be filthy. Brandon Marsh uh, with some potential at 24 years of age. I don't know. He hit decent last year. Let's we'll see how he can do. He's pretty fast, at least. Torrey Hunter Jr. is also on this team. I didn't realize that. And then out and right, we have Taylor Ward right now. But it's got to be Joe Adele here soon. Joe Adele needs to learn how to hit the ball, though. That is the biggest problem. So, for my ball player, the way this works, how does this work? We have the Road to the Show missions. It's the same concept, except there's so many more. So we've tallied one. Uh, we need four stolen bases, which is repeatable, obviously. All these are repeatable, but plate appearances... 15 put outs, 15 assists, uh, 12 hits. Like, all these are going to be just racked up as we play. And eventually, we'll get us to the silver archetype here and some decent awards or rewards along the way. That's kind of how the whole system works. It's similar to last year, except um, just better, honestly, which, praise the Lord, it is. Here's the stats right now, though 66 fielding. The arm strength needs to be a lot higher than it is. Um, but, yeah, we've got to get the arm strength up. I think I'm going to call the episode here. We're around 28 minutes, which is coming up on 30, so we'll call it here. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And that is Alex Parker, episode one in the, in the books. <laughs>